Hey guys, it's Jen, and in this video, I'll explain how to use Storylines in Final Cut Pro 10. These are effective when you want to add cutaways or b-roll into your project. So let's take a look at how they work. If you glance at our timeline, you'll notice that we have quite a few clips on the primary storyline. We can add connected clips by selecting some video and simply pressing Q on the keyboard. Make sure the playhead is positioned where you want the clip to be added. So let's add one right here above this longer clip at the beginning. Now we have a connected clip, and let's say we want to add some more video clips to follow it. We'll go ahead and select just one more to add. Now we've got our connected clips, and it's time to add a nice transition. So what we're going to have to do is convert this into a storyline. Highlight your clips, go up to the clip menu, and select Create Storyline, or just Command G on your keyboard. Now these clips are part of their very own storyline, and what this means is that we'll be able to add transitions now. We can also easily add other clips into this storyline, just like the primary one below it. You can also move clips around within this storyline, just like we can do on our primary storyline. It's even possible to move it as a connected clip like this. Now let's say you wanted to break apart the clips in the storyline. This can be done by going back up to the clip menu and selecting Break Apart Clip Items. Just make sure to remember that if you're doing this, it will cause you to lose any transitions you may have added to the clips in that storyline. So now you know a little bit more about storylines in Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching.